Lily Millet, she's a ranch maid here. You know who she is? She's with Cooper over by the store. Hey, morning to you, fella. Whoa. The ranch maid, Miss Millet. You know where I can find her? I don't know. You have any idea of the hole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch. boy.
You there. Ooh. Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Count. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop just there. Now, set it off. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck.
good boy. <laughs> Damn way! <laughs> you check Matthews. Oh no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. The more I chase, the more you owe. Save your hand! Stop! You're too slow, old man. 
map. We'll take you to the mud. Lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well.
warranty. Oh. Hello. Why today, isn't it? Sure. What? Our country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that, man. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. Coming back. full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Look, you think maybe you should leave the wildlife photography to the fellers who know a little something about wildlife? If every great man had thought like that, there wouldn't be any great men. A little ignorance can go a long way. At least, that's what I tell myself. Or it can get you killed. But hey, good luck. Photography is not that interesting to the observer. Unless I am eaten, that is. Yep. 
Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Hey! There'll be more law here any minute. Don't leave me in here, Morgan. Come on, you gotta try something. Arthur, get me out of here! <laughs> Thank you, friend. Now give me a gun. <laughs> hey, you! Bye now! <laughs> How the hell you do that? I'll tell you later. Come on! Hell is wrong. That way, let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have let's finally you. lost your damn mind. Keep moving, Arthur. My damn maniac. I should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want to do? Send them all out. Come on. Everything you got. We should be long go by now. They got something of mine I ain't leaving without. Say your prayers. Shit, more of the bastards. Yep, I see him. Who else wants to step up? Come on. Let's go. Where are we going? Making a house call. Ah, there's more of these morons. <laughs> You're really you should get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny! It ain't skinny. My guy is normal. Oh, you always was a let down, you fat sack of crap. Oh, excuse me, man at Arthur.
Gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got you back. For some unknown reason. Well, I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, oh, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
Come on now, boy. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see? Gone? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. that little Irish bastard. I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so.
Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. All right, I think those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen, follow me. We'll follow them, nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure, get binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's taken a turn. 
Where is she? Stay low. Stay low. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. God damn it, Arthur. <laughs> 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 Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to do it. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down. Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's family? Still time. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. 
Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy is back in your lives now. <laughs> 